I'm sorry you came back to visit us. No. Five years I've been stationed in Longdok. A stinking hole, if ever there was one. Now that I see this, I realize what a paradise I've been living in. You see, my friend, how deeply hell reaches into human life. Poor ignorant sheep. Why did they come? Because they are faith, because they're desperate, because occasionally someone is cured. And because some hypochondriac due to emotional excitement forgets a malady that never existed. Oh, yes, we have hundreds of those. But we have many, many other cases that aren't so easy to explain. Yesterday, there was a woman with lupus, tuberculosis of the face. Suddenly, she discovered a nose and a mouth for only ten minutes before, there was nothing but one large, decaying cavity. Please, Doctor. I'm not a gullible sheep herder from the pyramids. We have pictures in the office. Would you care to come down? Gentlemen, what's the use? The same argument has been going on for a great many years. And I'm afraid will go on for a great many more. For those who believe in God, no explanation is necessary. For those who do not, no explanation will suffice. Your Reverence. Yes, Here, Adam. Here is a message. Your housekeeper thought it was important and asked me to bring it to you. Thank you. This is the first. You remember him, the boo war child? Is that all, Your Reverence? Yes, thank you, Adam. <coughs> you should have the doctor give you something for that cold, monsieur. No. It's just a little laryngitis I picked up from the drafty trade last night. It will be gone by tomorrow. Excuse me, gentlemen. Good day. Good day. Good day, Dean. I give you full permission, dear doctor, to write down in your big book that my amazing recovery was due solely to the Lady of Lourdes. If I kept such a book, I would write you down merely as a skeptic, who I promise will leave Lord at least wondering. Not I, doctor. <coughs> Not I. This place only succeeds in revolting me. Once it was a dull but pleasing little village. Now look at it. A tremendous sponge sopping up all the infection. Good morning, Mr. Jones. <coughs> Dr. Joseph. Hey, gentlemen. Good day, Mr. Good day, Dutton. Monsieur. You look better today. Oh, yes, Doctor. I think I feel much better today. Thank you. <coughs> Monsieur Jones' voice has a lot in common with Monsieur Dutour's. Don't you think? Yes, now that you mention it. Monsieur Jones has cancer of the larynx.
my child. I didn't lie to you. God knows you didn't. They questioned me again and again. I saw her. Tell them I saw her. They won't believe me. Yes, my little one, you saw her. And you will see her again. I'm not so sure. Maybe I haven't suffered enough. You suffered enough, my child, for the heaven of heavens. Oh, no. I know about sick people. We all exaggerate a little. Our pains aren't so terrible. I believe... Sister. Sister. Are the pains worse? Day is this? Wednesday. Wednesday? Tomorrow. Tomorrow will be Thursday. The lady. Madame? I didn't even know what the Holy Trinity was. Where are you, Madame? Where are you? She's gone. Behold, my beloved speak it to me. Arise, make haste, my love, my dove, my beautiful one. I will not see her. The wind is now past. The rain is over and gone. I'll never see her again. heaven and on earth. Your life begins, O Benedict.